Hi, in this video tutorial, you will learn how to add two tips to Power Apps Controls, which is a great feature to improve user experience in your apps. My name is O'Keefe, and you are in Power Apps Land. Okay, so what are two tips? I have this app that I previously created. I'm going to play the app. Here, if you hover over one of the controls, you will see this little pop-up on the right side of the mouse pointer saying enter your full name. This is a two-tip. They are these little pop-ups that appear when you hover or you tap a control. So here, select your gender. This other one says choose how you'd like us to reach you. Pick your birthday date, select one or more hobbies you enjoy, and so on. Your uploaded profile image will appear here. And you have two tips for many different control types. This is great because it improves the usability and the user experience when interacting with your application. As the end user of the app, it is much better to use an application that has these two tips explaining things than needing to guess what many, what many are about. So let me close here. Back here to the edit mode. Here in the edit mode, I'm going to go to this other blank screen. Let me show you. If we insert a text input to add a tooltip, just go here to the tooltip property and then type the text that the user should see when hovering over the control. So for instance, enter your name. Let's remove this text from inside the text box. Let's play. Then when you hover, it says enter your name. Let's add another control, like a drop down. Same thing, go to the tooltip property and add the text. Choose your city, let's say. Then play, when you hover, when you hover over the control, you will say choose your city. They are different than the hint property. So if you select here the text input control, there is this other property which is called hint. Here in the hint, you could also add something like enter your full name. Then that's what's going to be displayed inside the text input control as an instruction. And then when you click it, it will be gone and you can enter the text. But not every control has a hint property. The dropdown, for instance, doesn't have. And other controls don't have it either. So if you go like with a checkbox, same thing. Let's go back here to this screen. You take a look, radio doesn't have the hint. So for all of these others that don't have the hint option, the tooltip is a great solution. So here you can see the tooltip for the radio control, for the checkbox, for the image, for the toggle, for the button, and so on. Hey, if you like this video, please click like. And if you want to learn more about Power Apps, please subscribe.